Welcome along to Chasing the Dollar, brought to you by TAB Sportsbed. Ben Damon is my name, joined as always by Tim Newbold. Tim, good to be back from a little bit of a break. How have you been tipping while we've been gone? Uh, we struggled last week, Ben. It was a really, really tough meeting. The week prior, we did find a couple of winners, which is good to see. A good, strong, competitive meeting on Saturday night featuring the Gold Cup, and it is one of the hardest races I've ever seen, but we'll do our best to find a winner. Yeah, we certainly will, and of course, not too long until the Golden Easter Egg Carnival gets underway, and you will see all the action here on the Dogs TV. Let's get to Matt Jenkins from TAB Sportsbet. He has some fixed odds markets to take us through. There's plenty of fixed odds betting available this week. Uh, Greyhound racing uh, tonight at Albion Park. We've got the Futurity. Looking forward to that one. Katie Mary looks like uh, is going to be very hard to beat. And looking forward to Saturday night at Wenny Park as well. We've got the Gold Cup. Uh, a very good race as well. And make sure you do have a crack at the Quaddy. New South Wales customers, $20,000 jackpot uh, on the Quaddy, on the Quaddy there for Saturday night at Winnie Park. And Victorian customers there, there's $10,000 jackpot there. The Meadows race one for the first four. Now the world's richest greyhound race, the Golden Easter Egg. You can expect an early market up for that next week as well. So looking forward to that one, of course, the Easter Egg. Uh, the Golden Easter Egg just around the corner as well. Go to tab.com.au to check out all those markets. Okay, thank you, Matt. We'll call back in with you in just a moment, but let's get into the first leg of the Quaddy at Wentworth Park this Saturday night. It is race number five. Tim, pretty hard one to line up to. I like number eight, Ascari. Beautifully drawn wide out on the track. Can be a li little touchy at box rise, but when he gets rolling fully into stride, he's got that good mid-race pace. I think he'll stay out of trouble wide out on the track, and I think he can rush to the top in the mid-stages and be too strong, number eight, Ascari. Number two, Active Scoop, I think, is drawn to get a gun run and can run a big race at good odds. Just It'll probably follow Yo Cool Maxi throughout the first turn, which is the likely leader. And you've got to throw in number three, Super Centurion. This greyhound is a flying machine, ran 29.69 last week, but it's never really led in its life. And I can't see it leading this field, but if he does get into the clear at the right time, he'll be storming home. He's a greyhound with untapped ability. All right, Tim has the eight on top for Jason McKay. <laughs> On to race number six, the second leg of the quaddy. Now, these all qualified last week in the heats. The fastest qualifier was the three Bye Bye Bucks. Where are you going, Tim? I'm going to stick with him. He's a talented greyhound. He, he's dropping in class on recent runs. He did contest the National Derby at the Gardens. He began only moderately last week, but then he showed good burn, rolling to the lead of the first turn, and he just ran rivals ragged. There is a heap of pace in this race. Whatever leads at the first turn will get away with it. I think he can lead. I think he can win. Number three, Bye Bye Bucks. Number eight, Ticker's Girl, showed good early pace. Uh, debuting at Whitworth Park last week, ran 30 and 37, and she'll be improved on whatever she she, uh, whatever she did last week, she'll improve two to three lengths on that run and throw in two Swipe Lulu. It's probably the only run on Greyhound in the race. It'll be coming home hard if there is any uh, trouble up in front with the leaders. Race six is the Schweppes final. We've got the three on top. Race seven is the feature race. It is the Gold Cup. It's a very, very tough one as well, Tim. How do you line this up? You could make a case for a number of runners. I'm going to go with number three, He's My Future. Returned to Sydney last week with a dominant all-the-way victory over Irenka Gabby. Clock 42-32, career best figures. He's just got to begin on terms. If he doesn't lead, he can sit second, third or fourth and run a few of these greyhounds down. I think he's clearly the one to beat number three, He's My Future. Seven, Gail Allen. She is as honest as uh, they come. She's a good beginner. She's got the good early pace to lead and she'll just keep rolling along in the uh, in in the top position if she does happen to lead and she's got a great chance. Number one Arapina star, well uh, look she's very very capable when she's on song but she can be a little moody at times uh, but if she is right on song she can uh, certainly win the race and five I reckon Gabby is a greyhound that, that has performed well in recent runs at Wentworth Park. What sort of price would you be looking for for He's My Future? I wouldn't want to take anything under $3.50 to $4 in, uh, it's that type of race and he should be around about that price. All right. There we go. That is the tip for the big one. He's my future. We move on to race number eight. A little bit of a preview of some of the runners we will be seeing in the heats of the Golden Easter Egg next week. All of these, you'd think, will be going around. But when we line them up against each other, who do you like in race eight? 
I like number three, Pair of Darkness. I think he'll be a real contender for the Golden Easter Egg. He clocked near record figures at Richmond in the heat of the Richmond Derby a couple of runs ago, 30 and 44. He began poorly in the final. He got caught in trouble, which really put paid to his chances. Back to Wentworth Park where he's run 29-8. Steve White trains. He ticks all the boxes. I think he can go very, very close. Number four, Main Drag. She's uh, returning, or he's returning from a little freshen up, so he'll come into this really well suited. He's got the early pace to be competitive. Throwing young Snoz, who we, we all know what he can do on his night, but he, he's just lo lost that early dash, and he's not well drawn wider on the track. But if he does get the luck at the vital stages, he'll be steamy home at the end. Now, do you see any of these troubling the scorers in the Golden Easter Egg Series? Oh, definitely. I think Power of Darkness can certainly uh, figure prominently. If young Snoz drew the right boxes, throughout the series, he could really uh, make his presence felt. And you've got Adam Meeway who made the final last year. This, uh, a number of these runners could certainly play a big part in the series. They've got to get through this week. First though, it is race number eight. All right, Tim, let's get your best of the night at Wenny. Tough meeting, race 10, number one. It's a blur for Mark as a party, debuting at Wentworth Park, but I, I would assume Mark would have had the Greyhound at Wentworth Park. This Greyhound is getting ready for the Golden Easter Egg Series. It's been flying around Bulleye, and I think it, it can be a contender in the Golden Easter Egg Series as well. Okay, what about some value? Race five, number eight, Ascari for Jason McKay. Super Centurion will be the short price favourite of the race, and I think Ascari can run a really big one. Okay, Matt Jenkins from TAB Sports, but plenty happening as always, but we're back to Randwick this week. And looking forward to the Royal Randwick Guineas as well, a lot of those three-year-olds stepping out uh, and also the two-year-olds that will uh, have an impact on the Golden Slipper betting too, a couple of two-year-old races, the Scholar and also the Sweet Embrace uh, should be a very big weekend there. Now sport-wise we've got uh, in Adelaide the Australian Swimming Championships, Ian Thorpe's there, Jane Magnuson, all the big names, Libby Trickett as well. Ian Thorpe, he looks unlikely to make the team, we've got him at $6.00. Uh, to be making the Olympic team to go to the London Olympics uh, later on this year. His best chance is probably in the 200 metres. Uh, he's $3.50 just to make the final of that 200 metres and $8 there if you like him to make the final of the 100 metres. Markets on James Magnuson. What time you'll swim in that final under 48 seconds, $1.55 as well. Looking forward to that. We've got Super Rugby again. The Rebels, first time they've ever been favourite in their history. They're taking on the Cheetahs. The NRL, some very big games, including the Dragons and the Tigers on Friday night. The NAB Cup final as well. So there is a stack of sport happening. You can go to tab.com.au, check out all those different prices, or give us a call on 133 and Or, of course, you can visit your local New South Wales or Victorian TAB. Okay, thank you, Matt. Yeah, plenty happening in sports and race betting right around the country. Now, Tim, we've been keeping your best bet in recent times. We're still in positive territory, but you're confident this week, so we might go up again. Yeah, race 10, number one. It's a blur, as I mentioned earlier. We crashed out last week. I think we'll bounce back on Saturday night. Okay, and the Golden Easter Egg. Of course, this is the most exciting time of year for Greyhound Racing fans. You can't wait. Champagne racing for the next uh, four weeks at Wentworth Park. Really exciting time for New South Wales Greyhound Racing. All right, Tim will take us through all of it next week, but Monday, around lunch lunchtime you can tune in and get the box drawers for the heats of the golden easter egg of course it is all coming up three big weeks of racing you'll see it all here on the dog season